This is a very short video. I just want you to remember if you are going to multiply a positive expression times another positive expression, the result is going to be positive. If you multiply a positive expression times a negative expression, what you get is a negative expression. Negative times positive is also going to give you negative. And if you multiply something negative by something else negative, what you're going to get, the final result is going to be positive. Of course, this is true for multiplications or divisions, but not if you have additional subtractions. Let me give you an example. Let's say that we have to do a calculation like this. We have something positive in here times an expression, a negative expression times another negative expression, another negative expression divided by another negative expression and another one positive. If I want to find out the sign of the result, the only thing I have to do is count the number of negatives. One, two, three, four. If the num number of negatives is even, then the result is going to be positive. And if the number of negatives is odd, then the result is going to be negative. So this is going to be positive. Okay, something else. When we eliminate a parenthesis preceded by a negative sign, the signs inside the parenthesis change. Let me give you an example. When we eliminate this parenthesis that is preceded by a negative sign, what we get is 17 minus 3x minus 4 plus 5x. Notice that the 3x was positive here. Now it's negative. And the 4 was positive. Now it's negative. And of course, once we have done that, then we can combine uh, like terms. 17 minus 4 is 13, and negative 3x plus 5x is going to be 2x, and that's it. Another example, let's say that we have negative 2 to the third. Negative 2 to the third means negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. So how many negatives do we have? 3, which is odd, so the result is going to be negative negative 8. You can test that with your calculator. Put in your calculator um, parenthesis negative 2. Oh, that, this is a good time to uh, remind you the difference between this minus and that minus. This is a binary minus, which means it is used to subtract two things, one thing from another. This is a unary minus, which is used to put the negative sign to one, only one thing. So if I want to say negative 2, I'm not going to use this negative sign. I'm going to use this negative sign. Negative 2, close parenthesis, raised to the third, and hit enter, and you get negative 8. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.